What's up ladies, it's Alex from Mind for Attraction 2.0 And today this is the last video If you guys haven't watched the other videos I made Go watch them, alright Because if I notice that people are not watching those videos I'm, I'm going to have to just slow down my role And not make as many videos, alright Or close down the channel, don't tap me um, So in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to How can I say this how, the number one sign that you are a clingy girlfriend. The number one sign that you're kind of like a codependent girlfriend. And this is something that if you don't fix this, let me tell you something. If you're a clingy girlfriend, even if you got, even if you have a good relationship, two things will happen. A, you're gonna attract the clingy guy, which will which will create some, which will always create a negative um, relationship. Two, two clingy people, even though it looks nice, is not good. It's, it's toxic. Or you're gonna attract a guy that is actually has high self-esteem, but you're not gonna keep him because high self-esteem and low self-esteem don't match together. So the, let me show you one of the, the most important sign that makes that you are a clingy girlfriend. Because sometimes your ego doesn't allow you to say that, doesn't allow you to realize that you're clingy. You may say, "I'm just being me," you know. You better like me because I'm just being me. Okay. If you notice, it, you will never allow yourself to realize that because your ego doesn't let you do that. So let me show you the biggest sign. When he's away, you constantly need to know what's going on. You're constantly thinking about the worst case scenario when he's away. And when you're close to him, you feel good. But as soon as, you, as soon as he's away, you start having fantasies about him being with somebody else. Even though that might be true, even though he may have a history, the point is, is that when he's away, your mind goes crazy. You need to know where he is. You're fantasizing. Maybe he's talking to that bitch. Like, you're consistently creating negative scenarios. That in and of itself... It's a sign that you're a cleaning girlfriend in and of itself because you consistently need to, know, need to know where he is. So how do you deal with that? The problem is that you are afraid of uncertainty. You are afraid of being hurt. You become, like I always say, you become jaded and you, and, and what tends to happen is that dating is a battlefield. A battlefield that if you're not mentally strong could easily tear you apart. So what you have to do is notice yourself being defensive. Notice the defensiveness. Notice yourself trying to feel better on a consistent basis. So this is what I want you to do because all you're really doing, your, 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 your clinginess is because you're trying to feel better. And because you have attached a, a you have attached them a role of your, they, they become your source of happiness because you need someone to be happy. That's a fantasy that you're being sold to. So what you have to do then is become, begin to notice, just ask yourself on a consistent basis, Whenever you feel needy, whenever you feel like texting him because you need to know, you need to find out what he's doing, where he's at, or, 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 or you need to, or you constantly need, or you constantly need validation and compliments from him because he's away from you and you need to know that he loves you. If you feel that, then you always got to be asking yourself, am I trying to feel better? This is the easiest form to let go of these negative emotions. The easiest form to let go of these negative emotions. So whenever you feel clingy, whenever you feel the need to be around him, right? Ask yourself, am I trying to feel better right now? Like right now. Ask yourself this. And again, I, I need to let you guys understand this. So I know I keep talking about this, but it's important. Because self-awareness is the most important trait in a person. Ask yourself, am I trying to feel better right now? In the midst of uncertainty, always ask yourself, am I trying to feel better right now? Ask yourself that right now. Am I trying to feel better? And notice what happens. Just go inside yourself and see right now. If you're trying to feel better, look for any tension. Look for any emotion that's discomforting. Look for any desire to understand. Look for, look for any discomfort of not knowing. Just look for it right now with your conscious awareness. Just look for discomfort. And if you do notice that you're trying to feel better, ask yourself right now. What would happen if I stopped trying to feel better for just 10 seconds and try right now? Stop trying to feel better for 10 seconds. Stop the effort of trying to feel better just for 10 seconds. I bet your shoulders are relaxing, right? I know it is. Feel the pain fully. And allow any discomfort to be there for just 10 more seconds. And so what you notice, nothing has changed. But the desire to feel better was the actual pain, not the pain itself. You understand? So that's what you have to do on a consistent basis. Consistently be letting go of the attachment to feel better. 
consistently letting go of that grip to have certain circumstances be how they are so that you can feel better about yourself and allowing yourself to process and experience the pain that you're trying to avoid 100% fully without alterating it or without trying to escape it. And one of the easiest ways to do that is through this simple and effective tactic of ask yourself what would happen if I stopped trying to feel better for just 10 seconds and allowing yourself to experience letting go for just one second. And it's a powerful way, I'm telling you. Do this consistently and your body is going to naturally process those emotions of uncertainty, the fear that you experience. And what's going to happen, like I always say, just like a drug, the stimulation of not knowing, your body is going to become, is going to grow tolerance to it. And you're going to be, and you're going to be a lot more aware. And you notice how when I, you notice how the microphone, when I, when I just became aware of the emotion and wanting to feel better and I allowed myself to feel better, you notice how it went from noticing my voice to noticing the environment, right? You notice that, right? That's what happens when you be, when you stop trying to feel better. You, you you lose focus of that emotion and suddenly your awareness expands. It was being it was contracted because of your the importance you were placing on that emotion. But now, because you allowed yourself to stop trying to feel better, your awareness went from this to this. And you became aware of your environment. And that's how you begin to live life. You can't live life if you're holding on. You can't live life if you're if you're continually trying to feel better on a consistent basis, because from there on is going is where you begin to act needy. You begin to act psychotic, like a psycho. So yeah, that's how it's done. I hope this makes sense. Um. Anyways, it's Alex from Mindful Traction. Have a good day and bye bye. Have a good day. God damn it.